Oh, G Funky Boxing. If you're new to the channel, subscribe with the like button and the notification bell. Diego Pacheco versus Marcelo Coceres. Pacheco gets a ninth round knockout. You see Ray with a beautiful right uppercut. Um, that was after he had pounded him uh, the round before that in round eight with a lot of good shots. Hurt him a couple times in that round. But this was an interesting fight. You know, the first four rounds, I felt like Pacheco was doing a really good job of boxing. Uh, working behind the jab, uh, you know, staying at range where Coceres couldn't get to him. Um, and then, I'd say about the next three rounds, Coceres really started to pick up the pace. Um, and he actually did some adjusting himself. He was uh, throwing these left hooks, uh, kind of anticipating where Pacheco was going to move his head to. And he was, you know, standing a little too tall and, and trying to pull, lean back from a lot of these hooks. And, you know, he got hit with some big ones, man. He really did. Um, but, you know, the thing is this. He took him well. He didn't panic. And, you know, this Coceres guy, he really believes in his power. He's a power puncher. Um, you know, he's knocked out other prospects like Edgar. Not knocked him out, but knocked him down, Edgar Berlanga. Um, and, you know, he didn't hurt Pacheco with any of these shots. Um, he took him very well and then continued to, uh, you know, do his thing, work behind the jab. But this time he was coming forward. Um, at about round seven, I believe he started to come forward with a jab and, and push Coceres back, um, where he's really not that good at fighting off the back foot. And um, once he was able to push him back, yeah, the fight was pretty much over, and he was able to land good, clean combinations and, and hurt him and eventually get him out of there. So this was a really good performance here for the young 22-year-old Diego Pacheco. Um, I like what I see from him. I, I you know, I, he was prospect of the year for me last year, and um, you know, I can't wait to see what they do with him here in, in the next year in 2024. Um, really good, really good boxer. Uh, so you guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section. This G Funky Boxing, I'm out.